I am going to make dinner in front of you tonight. We're just making a big hearty salad and I wanted to share with you. The star of the show is the dressing. I know many people say they would eat more salads if they had a better dressing to work with. So maybe this one is for you. So we are going to do, we're gonna do, I'm like looking at the measurements so I can tell you as I go because I don't always measure if you follow me. I'm gonna do one third cup of hemp hearts and this amount is probably going to make about two cups and it will make about two cups of dressing that way I have enough for my husband and I and then a few days worth fresh is always best but when we can make stuff in advance and make it easier on our life even better half a cup of pumpkin seeds I get these raw pumpkin seeds from Trader Joe's I get my hemp Parts from Costco, hemp seeds and pumpkin seeds um, are so amazing for us. Hemp seeds, all I think of is good omegas and not all, but that's like the main thing I think of good omegas, good for our heart or brain and pumpkin seeds. I instantly think amazing source of food zinc. So yes and also if you focus on protein which i don't i just get it in naturally um high in protein you can see. okay so we've got that we're gonna do two large cloves of garlic if you like garlic even add more but i'm gonna actually add some raw cloves to my salad so we're gonna do two and then it won't overtake this is actually a really mild creamy dressing that I'm making. It's not like super powerful, it's just very mild. It's subtle, um, it's runnier in texture, but not like too runny, but just a good one to mix in a, a range, a wide range of salads really. My husband really enjoys it too. I am definitely a salad queen. I could eat, I'm just, I just love salads. But he, He's gotten to love them a lot more just because I know what he likes and just the more you eat of something, the more you, your body, your taste buds adapt, you adapt and you enjoy it more. So now he, I'll sometimes ask him in the morning, like, okay, what do you want for this or this? And he says salads more, more often than he ever used to. So there's that way, my choppiness, it's going in, um, the Nutribullet. Definitely did not need to chop that. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna do two limes. Lemons would work in this one. So if that's all you have, by all means use lemons, but I like the lime in this specific dressing. This is not the first time I've made it. So yeah, I like the lime. It's not super sweet. I use an orange, one whole and juicy and soft orange in it. But if you wanted, you could always throw in a medjool, throw in a medjool date to sweeten it if that's what your taste buds want. But I like it mild and I'm gonna throw sweet potatoes on my salad tonight. So I've got that sweetness already coming from there. Okay. Get our orange and all this was already previously washed. We did a big, big grocery haul two days ago. And as much as it's a pain to do my large hauls sometimes, it feels nice when it's done and everything's washed. Then I'm good to go for about two weeks. I know that sounds crazy. I still walk to the grocery store. I live in Chicago. I have a whole car situation. We have one parking spot. And I own a car, but my husband uses a work car. So in a parking spot in our building is just as much as an expensive car. So I refuse to pay for a second parking spot. So we park my car elsewhere. So long story short, I don't have access to my car all the time and nor did I ever need it. I went through, I went without a car for years in the city. I didn't need it. I walked to work. I had my shop. Um, and store that I owned and sold. It was like, I don't know, 15 minute walk and my husband works in the same area. 
So he would just take me, man, I'm really killing this. He would just take me to work. It just worked out. So anyways, how did we get there? Oh, my grocery shopping. But that's why I do large hauls. It's not because, not because that's the way I think everyone should do it. It just works for me with my car situation. So, okay, now that I've sprayed, sprayed my whole counter. That was like an incredibly juicy orange. So this dressing will actually be sweeter than it normally is, I think. I'm gonna use about a fourth teaspoon of salt. I don't go crazy on salt. Sometimes I have more salt than normal, but I go in, I go in spurts. But it definitely takes some time adjusting. I think that's it, pumpkin seeds hemp hearts, salt, garlic, lime, um, oranges. Oh, we need some water. I'm gonna do it about a cup, cup of filtered water. And I don't even think I needed that cup because my orange was so juicy. So I actually might end up adding a few pumpkin seeds but let me blend this first and then we'll see. really good. I'm going to add a few more pumpkin seeds just because my orange was extra juicy. So I guess if you have a super extra juicy orange, use only three fourths cup of, three fourths cup of water. Okay, I'm going to blend this one more time. lettuce in my uh, fridge right now just for grocery shopping I have loose kale actually let me show you I won't show you everything but I want to show you different ways I pulled out these first because they were there this is how I keep asparagus nice I just trim the bottoms and put them in water they stay fresher but dino kale I'll put in jars trim the bottoms put water in there I have power greens. These are from Whole Foods or Costco or pretty much any grocery store carries this Earthbound brand. I use this a lot. I also have organic um, arugula in my fridge too. So, uh, and tons of other greens. But as far as lettuce, I've got a wide range to choose from. And I do shop at multiple I do shop at multiple grocery stores just because I, they're kind of right in a row. I find I save money that way. I get a little bit of everything at each store that I want. My Trader Joe's and Aldi's is literally in the same building. So it's really easy. And I also want to show my means. What I have now is was not what I had years ago. And you can eat healthy on a budget. You might have to do things a little bit different, but you can. So I do like showing 
when I'm using all these lettuce. So I feel like everyone has a bad knock on all these or don't. Whatever you can afford is amazing. And I still, I still shop at all these because why not? Um, I do, so it's organic kale. I do take off the big stems and I save them for juices and smoothies. I try not to waste much in my kitchen, even though I still, I can't, the amount of garbage that I still toss is unbelievable with me thinking that I don't waste. There's just, I don't know, packaging everything. And I do recycle, even though I swear Chicago it's terrible at re actually recycling, but I do put it in the recycling bins. And if honestly, if Mark wasn't going to eat this too, I'm going to make my own salad, make him more, but I might just, whatever I don't eat, I'll add to his and doctor up. I won't always take off these stems because I'm, it does digest better without those hard stems on there, but I'm not picky and they, they, they don't bother me at all. Um, on the norms like sometimes they want a really nice salad everything perfect but tonight I could easily be fine with a few stems in there but we're gonna make it better and massaging kale it makes it more appetizing for you or whoever in your family doesn't want to eat salads as much or kale enough maybe maybe it's kale that they don't like but massaging it and breaking it down really makes it more appetizing. A good dressing makes it more appetizing. Just don't give up on salads. Although if you don't like a salad, smoothie is amazing at throwing it all in. And you know how I'm for a smoothie and juices because they are our chewers. We definitely do not chew enough. We're not what we eat, we're what we assimilate and digest. So I definitely need to work on my chewing more. Okay. Good enough. So I've got a bunch of kale there. Rosemary. It's really good for like concentration in our mind. It's already washed. It smells so good. I love rosemary. I'm going to use, sorry, this is, my camera angles probably are terrible. Um, I'm just going to do a rough chop. I just peeled it off the stems. Good enough. I've got a tomato I'm gonna chop up. Grape tomatoes, I do love grape tomatoes and cherry tomatoes and salads. They're just nice to like cut in half and throw in and I really like the taste, but I'm working with a regular tomato. They were what looked the best at the store this trip. I vary produce and I always just buy what looks good. I'm gonna put in a little bit of red onion onion and garlic is antiviral so I am always putting putting both of those in they will my bad breath I'll, I'll live with it just so I can get the benefits ingredients for you to do all at once. I will say a salad that I was making a few weeks ago, like on repeat, my husband was loving it, was just kale, sweet potatoes, which I made in my little mini oven. I will I'll link, link it below in this description, but I did kale, sweet potatoes, grape tomatoes, quinoa. I don't have quinoa made, but I have this out so I can make quinoa tonight for Mark, um, quinoa, this, tomatoes, onion, garlic, and the hemp seed dressing. I just feel like a little more tonight and I've got the time and I wanted to make, felt like making dinner in front of you and taping it tonight. I'm not a shy person by any means. I'm sure you can tell but it's taken me a little bit to be, I'm, it's just weird being 
on video on camera taping yourself. I wish someone else actually would do it. I'm actually like when Mark's here and he's doing it, I actually feel better. I don't know what it is and I would think you'd probably feel better. Most people feel better by themselves, but I don't know, it's very strange. Very strange taping myself, but I'm getting better, I think. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Okay, I don't care how, if they're a little big. Um, let's do some fresh herbs. I washed all my herbs in a salad spinner and then before I pack them down, because I buy so many, before I pack them down, after I wash them in a sail spinner, I let them, I kind of put them like this, upright, and I let them dry. So if I put them down like this after I washed them and they were wet, I would have like mucky herbs. But if I do this, my herbs last about two weeks. So, yes, and we're going to use I think I'm gonna do some dill. I love dill. Okay, dill. I also have broccoli over here in case I felt like that, but I don't. So, I think I'm gonna use a little of this dressing. Tom this together. Okay, it smells amazing with that dill in there and I want everything well-dressed. Probably could have even used a little less dressing, but no one will complain about too much dressing. Okay. Okay, I know you can't smell it and it might not even look that great, but it smells so good. Everything, everything smells good. And I'm going to plate myself nice big bowl of lettuce here and I have two trays one for Mark one for myself so I did a big sweet potato for each of us but I think I'll do I don't know what I feel like I feel like more salad tonight than sweet potato so I'm not going to use it all and I kind of feel like more tomato on there so I might add a little bit extra tomato but it looks amazing and I'm excited to eat. I hope you enjoyed this and definitely try making this hemp seed, pumpkin seed dressing at home and let me know your thoughts. And yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.